Files. Press start to begin. Chapter 5, The Lubang Man. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Super Bonus Round. We're back with more Yakuza Like a Dragon. I'm your host, John Mookie Ward Jam, joined as always by my co-host, Jack Peanut. Hey! Thanks for hanging in there. Oh my god. What? Sorry, <laughs> low hanging fruit? No, <laughs> oh, Jesus! <laughs> yeah, I hear you on that one. I would have jumped on that place no matter how big a loan I needed. Seriously, it's a gold mine. The guy was sitting on a mountain of cash and he just threw himself off. Where yeah. did you guys get suits? Classy group. Talking this way at a funeral. Money. Yeah, I know, right? People. Fuckers. How dare they make suicide so jokes? Be a ticket to riches. Can't just start one just by submitting some paperwork. Well, it's gotten a lot stricter. A new soap land has to be more than 200 meters from any school, hospital, or library. Yeah, that's fair. Town real estate that meets that criteria. Not a single lot. So that's not too it, fair. It's impossible to open a new soap land. What about the old ones that have been around mm -hmm. forever? They got grandfathered in. So Nonomiya's death is another precious soap land down the drain. I mean, it didn't have to be. He could have sold it and made a huge profit just like those guys said. I really don't understand why he did himself in. He, he did, did not! There must have been something terrible going on. Something even worse than Nanoha's situation. I really think he was more of a sensitive guy than he ever let on. <sighs> Excuse me, sensitive? Mm -hmm. I don't know about that. Oh, that was early. Nano Hassan? Mm -hmm. Is that you? Whoa, look at her. She gets she's feeling a lot better now. No more stress about her dad. Then she went shopping. Yeah, she looked great. Pretty sexy. <laughs> Shut up! She this is Nanpa. She respects you, moron. Grow the fuck up! Nano Hassan, you should know that we are the ones who found him. I mean, we were just heading back to the shop, expecting to find him there, but uh, he'd already... he'd already hung himself. Um, yeah, I heard you guys just now saying he was sensitive. Come on, we all know he wasn't the greatest guy. And he was selfish, too. But that's why I think there's no way he killed himself. Damn, Nano Hassan. I know you're still going through a lot, but is this really the time to trash the guy? Don't lecture me like that. You don't even know me. Uh, uh, um... We don't... know you? No, you don't. I'm Saeko. All right. Oh, what's so, this? Is Saeko your nickname or something? I don't get it. No, no I'm she's saying stupid. that you and I have never met before, okay? Do you get it now, Gramps? G Gramps? Come on. Nanoha. Okay, you obviously don't get it. Maybe Four Eyes over there can figure it out? Four Eyes? No, I can't say I get it at all. Well, the simple answer is they're twins, right? We have a win. <laughs> You're smarter than you look back there. Yeah, I'm Nanoha's sister. Uh, seeing as you're uh, Nanoha's twin, do you have the same, you know, job as she does? I'm not for sale, if that's what you're asking. I'm a bartender at a cabaret club that Nonomiya owned, actually. Jeez, he owned a cabaret club and a soap land? Yeah, he may not have looked it, but he was actually one of the top dogs in Eugene Cho's red light district. Now that he's gone, I guess both my club and Otohime land are probably going to shut down. Was it just a coincidence that you and your sister both worked in his establishments? Yeah, it was. I mean, it's crazy, but I didn't even know that Nanoha was working at, you know, at his brothel. You didn't know? I had no idea. I only found out a few days ago. 
but I still don't understand. If I'd known she needed money to take care of her dad, I'd have gladly given her some. How could you not know? I mean, you're sisters, aren't you? <laughs> well, what gives? You might say we had a complicated relationship. See, I left home when I was young, and I never looked back. You just cut your family off? That was how it had to be. But I had no idea my sister was working at Otohime Land. I mean, Nonomiya had to know the two of you were related. I'm sure he did. It's obvious we're twins. And apparently he actually did tell Nanoha that I was working at his cabaret club. But she... She asked him to keep her job a secret from me, no matter what. Well, not a real surprise, seeing as you were estranged. Then a few days ago, Nonomiya called me, sounding really worried. He said my sister and dad were in a tight spot. That they were trapped in some kind of Yakuza scam. That must have been a scary way to find out about the trouble your sister was in. Yeah, it was. Like I said, we haven't talked in years. And now I'm really worried. I mean, Nonomiya broke his promise to her by telling me she works for him. So Dad and Nanoha must be in really deep trouble. They were, but it's all good now. No need to worry. No need to worry? Wait, are you the ones who helped my family? That would make you Kasuga-san, Adachi-san, and Nanba-san. I owe you guys so much. You knew our names this whole time? You do realize your family's alive because of us? Look, I really am grateful. Thank you. It seems like you haven't talked to Nanoa-san about any of this. No, I haven't. And I feel like... It might be better if I just keep pretending I don't know about it. Hey, I just thought of something important. When Nonomiya told you about your sister, did you say it was by phone? Yeah. Huh. Well, that would be... Pretty damn close to the moment he hung himself. Oh, yeah. I knew that already. Later on, I realized that phone call ended just moments before he died. Whoa. That's what I was trying to tell you before. That phone call is why I know there's no way he committed suicide. So, wait. What exactly did he say to you? Oh, flashback time. What? You have your employees doing that? Basically, the home your sister put your dad in? It's a ratchet run by the Seiryu clan. They're threatening to kill your father if she doesn't pay them. Wait, are you serious? And wait, did you just say Nanoha is working at your soap land? Why didn't you tell me before? I'm sorry. She asked me not to. I feel like shit for ratting on her even now. But at this point, the secret's kind of out. Okay, just let me think. First of all, are they seriously asking for all that money in one lump sum? I don't have that kind of cash. I guess I could ask around. We don't have time to try and raise money. We just have to put our faith in these new guys I hired. Maybe they'll pull a miracle out of their ass. You know, Psycho? Well, we did. I think they <laughs> might actually do it. Why do you think that? Who are these guys, anyway? They're like, uh, well, it's a bum. An ex-Yakuza and an ex-detective. I know it sounds shady, but they're good guys. Tough, too. They're risking their lives for Nanoha. Is the ex-Yakuza that Kasuga-san you mentioned before? Yeah. He hasn't let me down so far. Huh? Uh, oh, hold on, I heard something. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, is it a customer? Yeah, probably. Uh, hold on, hon. Hello? Uh, hey, what, what are you doing? Whoa, hey, hold on! Stop! Don't just barge in! Boss? Stop! Stop! Boss? Loma! Loma! Come to tell you! Loma! Oh, it was the, um, the Lu Lumon guys. Oh, shit. The, the, the third faction of the, uh... Oh, I forgot what they were called. The, the, the something tri trio. That was the last time you spoke with them? Yeah. What happened at the end there? I don't know. The voices sounded angry. I think they were speaking Chinese. And this is how you know it wasn't a suicide? Yeah. But if these Chinese guys killed him... Why they tried to make it look like a suicide? Well, I don't want to find out. Let's just tell the police about this. 
I already did. I got interviewed by a detective who found my number in Nonomiya's call history. I told him everything I just told you. So then why are they still calling it a suicide? I don't know. But I'll tell you a really weird thing. The detective asked about the Chinese words, so I repeated them. Then he just packed up and left. Really? Well, let's hear the Chinese. Sure. I can tell you what I heard, but I don't know what it means. But I do know the words were definitely Lao Ma, Lao Ma. Lao Ma? What's that? I just told you I have no idea. But I do. Really? Lao Ma is a nickname for one of the bosses in the Yokohama Liomong. One of their bosses? You're sure? Yeah. His real name is Mabuchi. That's so weird. Why would they be shouting his nickname like that? <sighs> Maybe it was his guys who busted into Nonomiya's room to attack him. They might have been calling to Mabuchi because they'd found Nonomiya. You're trying to imply Mabuchi's behind the murder? But he was on Seryu clan turf. The Ejin 3 don't attack on each other. Ejin 3! They don't. So if that pact's been broken, anything could happen now. Why did the police ignore what Saeko told them? Maybe the detective didn't know what Laoma meant. No. I think it's the opposite. He stopped the investigation because he knew exactly what it meant. You mean he was yep. scared? Uh, not so was much scared as loyal. Every detective in Nijin Cho knows who Lao Ma is. He owns them, really. What? He bribed all of them? Well, he pays for a lot of their important family events. Coming of age parties, weddings, funerals, you name it. Sends money to their kids, too. Oh, yeah, he takes care of them. Wrapped okay. around his finger. Mm hmm. Mabuchi, with all these detectives on his payroll, has basically bought access to all their personal information. He's got his personal. Oh, the Machakabuk business. Yep. I was thinking more like uh, Wilson Fisk and Daredevil. These are helpless. It's pretty much the same, but yeah. Great wall. And they know it too. Don't go expecting them to do any real investigations where Mabuchi is involved. Well, you know Mark Zuckerberg's only doing this meta thing because he's not allowed to spy on people's data anymore, right? Oh, really? I didn't know that. Yeah. Like it was robbery. He's trying to scramble to find a way to uh, make money again. Look at these. It was rare that Nonomiya broke out the full. No wonder he's so helping on that chicken chips. Because it's all that he has. Psycho. Thanks for telling us what you heard over the phone. I know it'll help. You know, it's really sad. Mm hmm? How I never even realized someone was worrying about me like he was. He worked so hard all those years, only for things to end up like this. <sighs> I never got along with my dad or my sister. We were always fighting. My mom did the best she could to keep the family together. And it almost worked. But after she died, I just wanted out. <sighs> Thing is, for all his flaws, Nonomiya is the one who gave me a real home. Even when he knew I had abandoned my family. But I kept saying he was garbage. I was so mean to him right up until the end. I never thanked him for what he did. Not even once. I mean... I never thought he could just be gone all of a sudden, you know? <sighs> all my life, I felt pretty alone. But I thought at least I was free. Now I'm starting to realize that I was kidding myself. Because I wasn't actually alone. And to be honest, I wasn't even that free. <laughs> it feels more like the people around me were suffocating me, even Nonomiya. <sighs> Look, I know you must have felt like he was suffocating you, but if you ask me, that sounds like every other family I've ever come across. It's so frustrating, 
because it's like, Nonomiya doesn't deserve my tears. He was a dirty, crass old man. But at the same time, that doesn't mean that... that nobody should care that the police can write him off. I mean, it's their job to do something, but they're acting like it's just another suicide. That's not right. <laughs> I can't do anything, not by myself, but before Nonomiya died, he told me about how you three were so much to help my sister and my dad, and I just thought... <laughs> I'm guessing that's why you came here to find us. <laughs> okay. Okay, my ass. Are you dragging us into another mess? <laughs> You're finally starting to understand me, Nurse Namba. Oh, that's a bad sign. You in, Adachi-san? About going up against a guy even the police are scared of. My detective instincts are telling me, hell yeah, let's do it. <laughs> yeah. So, that settles it. Sachan. Uh, yeah. Let's do this together. That work for you? From here on out, you don't have to feel alone anymore. <laughs> Welcome to the party. Should I see you join our party? Yes! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> uh, She's on the box, I've always known. <laughs> And now I know. Saiko Mukoto joined the party. I think it's pronounced Saiko. Saiko. Which is funny because uh, the voice actress who plays her plays a character with that, a very similar uh, first name. Oh, wow. I'll tell you who she is in a minute. Adachi-san, do you know where Mabuchi's hideout is? The Lime the Limang are still mafia, so just like the Yakuza, they're not gonna just pass their names on an office. On top of that, Mabuchi's a cautious bastard. What it is he doesn't take things serious? Mm. Oh. So we don't have any leads? <sighs> I wouldn't say that. You know restaurant row, just north of here? That's where the Lemang Hang on, don't you hang out. So, who, who do you want to give up so that uh, so that you mm -hmm. can read for two characters and I can read for two characters now that we have a woman in here? Um, Nando. You, you want to give up Namba? Yeah. Okay. Namba. Yeah, it's more Chinatown than Chinatown, really. But whoa, shit. Let's head over there and ask around. Yeah. It's time to get hungry anyways. Don't tell me we're going down there just to grab some food. Why not? Adachi-san said this is the real Chinatown, so it's gotta be good. We'll see when we get there. Uh -huh. We're a party of four now! Yeah! Alright, let Saiko, let's see what, you're, what we're working with here. Clobber bat! She- is her fucking weapon her purse? <laughs> Boxer size okay. blow. Damage enemy with a punching technique learned from boxer size. Oh, okay, she is, <laughs> she is trained in martial arts too. Okay, yeah, it's her yeah. fucking purse. Yeah. Oh, good, I got her some stuff, so. Okay, good, good. All right, so she's not totally a. Uh... Oh, there's actually some tips about her. Uh, let's read those real quick. Psycho's inherent boldness makes her much more resistant to fear, charm, and silence most. She's also particularly good at holding her liquor, and therefore is less likely to get drunk. Yeah. <laughs> those are good, uh... Those are good... That's a good quality. 
So, Austin, have you decided who you want to be on the thumbnail yet? Uh, I guess our... I Kodo holding so... a martini glass. Yeah, well, I guess you'll decide as we keep playing. Why don't we go test her out right now? Oh, oh, oh shit. I didn't want to get run oh. over. Yeah, those things, like, do 100 damage. Yeah. Suspicious man. Oh shit, he's got claws. You know what? Let's let's uh, initiate her with a tag team attack and see if she joins. It's into mayhem. No, I think you gotta learn them later on in the story. I don't know, Adachi used as soon as he joined. Oh. Yep, there's, there we go. Oh. Kick him in the ass! So this works no matter who's in your party, it's just... Uh, it's just gonna change based on who's with you. Alright, let's see what you got. Uh, what do you think? What should we use for her first attack? Let me look at her skills. How about that? What's boxer? Hmm. Alright, let's see it. Boxer size blow. Oh fuck yeah! It's like a rap it's like a multi-punch attack. I'm I'm into it. Oh shit. That's what a regular attack is. All right, so she's she's only two attacks on one. Mega Shuring. Alright, so I hit him while he was down. Shit. Oh shit. You're gonna get Oh my god, did he? Did not I know just blink into existence suddenly or something? I think yeah. the Chinese guy and uh uh Adachi just like reloaded back in. A forgettable film. Oh press triangle. What's up? I can't seem to remember the title of this movie I saw a few years back. Uh say say get movies. out of the street! Emotional rides. Psycho, get over here! It was a, a boy meets girl movie. You're, uh. Or was it? Psycho! Uh, <laughs> the guy's trying to go! Get out of the road! What the hell are you talking about? Does the hero have a stomach ache or something? At least not, was on the bike path! You wanted to quit drinking. Nah, it was all about being young. <laughs> what a nice time that is. Well, I'll let you know if I ever spot it. Oh, what's Oh, it? fuck. Yo ah, damn it. I was just trying to get her out of the street! Huh? Just shut up and hand over your Press wallet! Press again. Come on, people. Seeing this shit makes me sick. Hey, don't you punks have anything better to do with your lives? Huh? Now he doesn't. Look, his name is Worthless Low Life. <laughs> oh, perfect timing. You're with PartTimeHero.com, right? Perfect timing. 
Oh, uh, this must be a sub story. Uh, you lost me. Yep. How to be a part time hero. I don't know what your problem is, but if you're trying to be a hero, your ass is going down. I love, that they turn I love that they turn to different people when they start fighting. Yeah. Okay, so what if I stand still when you trigger that dialogue? Okay. Well, I was trying to get out of the road. He's weak to purse. <laughs> if we don't have a proper episode title, that's it. Weak to purse. I didn't think he's. I didn't think he was gonna swipe twice. But you know who was gonna swipe twice? Oh. Hell yeah! Look at me go! <laughs> level up again, damn. Well, no, she ranked up. Oh, rank up. Yeah, rank up is like their job is going up in rank. Man, you really kicked ass back there. Thanks, parttimehero.com. Still don't know what this hero thing you're talking about is. What? You mean, part-time hero didn't send you? Did I oh my god! Never fear. Part-time hero is here. Huh? So this year's our bad guy, huh? Damn it! Just look at him. Yep. Got the classic thug tells. My hungry gaze, low life outfit. What is it with that hair? Looks like he set off a bomb in front of his face. Actually, this guy right here, he... Say not another word. For the glory of part-time heroes everywhere, I will vanquish this villain post-haste. Now put up uh, yeah. I'm no stranger to fisticuffs. Now we gotta fight him. Yes! It's fine if he's weak to fire. Nope. He doesn't appear to have any weaknesses. Uh, he's take he's not taking any damage, so you know what? Oh -ho. Come on, let's go. All right, we got him down to half. Okay, that's good. She went up two ranks on her job, like Damn. in one cutscene. You're no ordinary thug, are you? I'm not a thug at all, man. He's right. This guy here, he rescued me just now. He rescued you? What are you trying to say? You got here too late. You're like that pizza delivery who's over 30 minutes. This Your service mm -hmm. should be free now. So it was all just a big misunderstanding. Sorry about that. I can't do much in the way of an apology, but I'd be happy to treat you to some tea or what have you. What else I make up for anything? I went through two fights just now. You know what? You're right. I beg your pardon. Maybe I should introduce myself. I'm the president of Part-Time Hero Incorporated. Please call me Hero. Fun fact, I named this company both after myself and the concept of a hero. <laughs> so clever, I know. Okay, I'll ask again. What is this part-time hero thing? Uh, 
PartTimeHero.com offers a revolutionary service that puts you in touch with a hero, all from the comfort of your So it's phone. Superhero it's Uber. In touch with a hero? That's what we call you when you register. You'll be taking on quests that people in need post. Upon accepting, it's your job to dash onto the scene and save the day. The concept is, well, it's an odd job service anyway. Uh, and it doesn't take much to start. You could choose to find pets or people if you'd rather stay out of trouble. I promise, it's rewarding work. Huh. I gotta ask though, why make this service if there are already others like it? What sets you guys apart? Well, what really sets us apart? Well, it's our mission to clean up the town, stopping trouble before it starts. So it's like bounty hunting then? In a way, yes. What you did just now, fighting off those thugs, that was actually a quest posted by a client. Ijincho, as you know, has an exorbitantly high crime rate. That's why I started this thing up. And what do you know? <laughs> it works! Makes sense. Now I know why that guy thought I was all part-time heroed out. Well, that's another thing. The fact that there are still good, honest people like you out there, it reassures me. I'd say you're one of the few real heroes left in the world. Yeah, all I did was punch a guy who was starting to <laughs> piss me off. Anyway, see ya. Wait, 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 please, just a minute. What now? Well, if it's not too much to ask, would you be willing to work for me as a part-time hero? So you want me as your muscle? That it? Essentially. We've been getting rave reviews, so we always have an influx of new quests. But since true heroes are in short supply, it means we're short-staffed. The biggest struggle is finding someone capable of actually winning a fight. Since these heroes are rare, a lot of our clients are still in desperate need of help. This city is full of crime. People just don't know what's waiting for them out there. Believe me, I want to help as much as I can, but I'm only one man. And that's where I come in, huh? You've got more than what it takes. Above all, you look out for the little guy and let no evil go unpunished. We need people like you at my company and on the streets. You'll receive compensation, of course. It's a job that feels satisfying and pays well. So what do you say? Will you keep this city safe for all of us? This isn't like a bunch of such a bad gig. Plus I get paid. Might as well give it a try. All right, sign me up. Not sure how much help I can be, but why the hell not? That's this might be good when you're low on cash. Okay, then. Let's rescue this city together. Looking forward to it. Oh. And I'm Ichiban Kasuka. Kasuka-san! Got it. Then allow me to fill you in on the details. Premium part-time hero quest will net you rewards as money items. Quests will automatically be received depending on the state of your progress. These can be checked under part-time hero quests in the pause menu. Support quests include de delivery requests, in which you'll be tasked with delivering specific items, which, while rescue quests include takedown quests, which in, in which you'll need to defeat specific enemies throughout the city. Upon completing these tasks, report back to the reps at locations such as convenience stores to mark the quest as completed. However, urgent takedown and delivery quests do not need to be reported to the reps. Simply talk to the person you help to mark the quest as completed. I prefer the Xenoblade Chronicles approach where you do the quest, it's like, here's your reward, congrats, as soon as you're finished. Mm -hmm. Each quest you complete earns member points. Collecting these points improves Costco's member rank, granting him access, access to special weapons and more rewarding requests. Take on tough requests to earn more member points at once. Challenge quests involve various missions based on everyday tasks, and when they're completed, your personality will improve in accordance with each entry. Rewards for challenge quests completed before meeting Hero will automatically be added. And that's about it. Now get out there and save the day, Hero. Right on. There's a cat. Two cats. Oh. Kitty cats. I like where this is going. Could always use some extra cash. And it's nice being mm -hmm. called a hero. I'm to be a part-time hero. Is there any hanging around right now? Bug delivery, prize delivery, food delivery, nah, 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 nah. Rescue. Take down Snipper, take down Conman, challenge. 
Oh, okay, this is the completion points. Okay. Oh, management mode. I think that comes later. Yes. And there's also one other item that we haven't unlocked yet. Mm. Dragon cut! Yes. Oh. Can I just tell you? Uh, no. Keep it a surprise. I, I okay. Want to know. All right. Yeah, now we're getting uh, we're getting points for all the, everything we've been doing. Mm -hmm. So you get grandfathered in for the stuff you already did. Sweet. Mm. This isn't exactly what I pictured. The image I've always had of Yokohama is kind of loud and flashy, like Chinatown. Shut up, Ichiban. Huh? You moron! Whoa, what crawled up your asses all of a sudden? Don't even mention Chinatown around here. Huh? The Chinatown you're thinking of is basically a tourist attraction on the other side of the station. The people living here are the ones who get driven out of the area a long time ago. Oh, so you're saying there was a turf war in Chinatown? What are they, Yakuza? Okay. The truth isn't far off. After the war, Chinatown is still raking it in. But the Chinese living here were scavenging for scraps. The gap was so drastic, they felt they deserved to be on, in on the action. <sighs> Even if they had to take it by force. But that didn't exactly work out. That grudge has simmered for all these years. To this day, it's the background of the Yokohama Limon. Oh, jeez. The people living here are basically the descendants of the ones who got run out of Chinatown. They lost their world, but they, they had nowhere to go. So, talking with a dumbass is going to make even the Commonwealth glare at you. Not to mention the Lamang. Okay. I get it. I'll keep my mouth shut about Chinatown. Yo. Just remember, you're on Lemang tough now. Don't let and not on that we're trying to catch Mabuchi. That was some small talk so nobody gets suspicious. Then when you see the opportunity to ask about Mabuchi, go for it. Be clear? Okay. Oh, this Gather info on Mabuchi. Oh, this is the place I tried to buy uh, armor from. Hmm. Hmm? Yeah, went. Yes, what is it you want? And he's still not going to sell That's me. That's a no! He's not going to sell me anything, and he's still... Oh, okay, there's something right here. <laughs> wow, this town's so scenic. Scenic? Yeah, the buildings have that old school feel to them. I bet I can get some pretty sweet picks. Not to be rude, but I wouldn't do that if I were you. If you start wandering around restaurant row with a camera... Is that bad? You saying someone rough might pop out? And by that you wouldn't happen to mean the Yokohama Lumong? Hey, wait! You can't pin that one on me. That I didn't get a dialogue choice in that. Yeah, yeah. I guess it's automatic then. It's just automatic because Ichiban's stupid. Hey. Good evening! My man, you are totally ripped. Impressive. <laughs> right? Look at how every day pays off. And you gotta be tough in my line of work. So you uh, work behind the scenes. Uh. Yeah, that's right. But if you're in Restaurant Row, that would mean you're loot. I'm a theater stagehand. <laughs> People think working backstage is easy, but you gotta be pretty fit to do all the heavy lifting. Dang, I was gonna guess you were Lumong. Sorry? This is the Yokohama Lumong's turf, isn't it? Would you happen to know where their boss Mabuchi is? Oh, god damn it! Go home, man. Hey, hold on! He's doing exactly what uh, Adachi oh told God. him not to do. Uh, oh, no. Damn. Hey. Good evening. Good evening. 
Ding! Hey, so which one's better? Bean paste buns or steam buns? Steam buns! Okay, what about steam buns versus Chinese buns? Chinese buns! <laughs> okay, but when it comes to fruit filling, would you choose melon or... Lubricant? <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, Kachika! Oh, damn. Uh, Libanco? I mean, you have to have heard of the Yokohama. My <laughs> Kachi Bun, you fucking idiot! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Mommy, this man is weird. <laughs> You're goddamn right! <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> That's, that was the worst one! Oh, fucking idiot. <laughs> that was the worst one! Damn. Damn it, forget Mabuchi. They won't even talk about the Lumang. That's just how low they are, I guess. Uh, don't feel like we're gonna get to Mabuchi at this rate. Don't throw in the towel just yet, man. We barely even started asking around. Oh god, more? Hold on. Well, maybe not the results you wanted, but it looks like it was effective all the same. So effective that a uh, citizen had to disappear so they could walk. Mm -hmm. hmm? The Luman? Yeah, no doubt about it. Listen, you might want to get back. Far back. Why? What do you mean, why? This is dangerous for a woman. Hey. <laughs> oh, because I'm a woman, it's dangerous? That's how it is? No need to tear me a new one. Do what you want. Ew. Are you the Japanese one sniffing around with the lemong? What do you mean? We just want some authentic food. Don't fuck with me. What's your game? No. Hey, you've got the wrong people. You have no clue what you're talking about. <laughs> He's right. We just wanted to find a good spot to get some grub. Well, shall we get back on a hunt? I can go for some Lumongo. <laughs> hey. That's a potential episode title right there. Come on, let's just go. Yeah. Ain't gonna let us leave. Might as well drop the act. Hey! Why are you snooping around us? Us. Tell me straight. Okay. Fine. I'm an honest guy, so I'll level with you. The owner of the soap when I was working at got killed. And it sounds like your boss, Mabuchi, played a part in that. So tell me where he is. <laughs> Oh my god, can you be any more direct? <laughs> no. At least it saves us the trouble of asking around, doesn't it? Uh, this again? Give me a break. So that's what you're after. Hey! <sighs> that's the reaction with get Eden. I'd say Mapuchi is really more and more guilty. Yeah. Nice. Guys, is this really the time for that? Hey. Oh, be quiet. I was ready for this ages ago. Oh, you got a man up or what? Scary. Ew. Hey, call up the guy at Plum Garden. Tell him to shop in his knives for a skin and oh no. Once you tell their 50 skins off, use them for Manchu. Oh, human manjo, so creative. It's a way that Lamont just skin off victims alive. Don't worry, you black out and forget the pain real pretty quick. <laughs> Hell of a threat. Now come on. Yokohama Lamont. Here we go. Oh damn, resistant to physical attacks. Did someone just say don't be a cock? 
attack. Okay, that one was sweet to physical attacks. Oh shit, he's beaten. Definitely now. I'm in there. Wanna fight? Take your best shot. Y'all lose it. I got this. Yeah. Power snooze. Oh, it's a better version of power now. You're gonna be in a war. Huh. Have fun with this. I would take the big one out. Cool. And he got the other guy out. Oh shit. You might want to heal that, uh, never mind. <gasps> Austin, it's nighttime. Oh. <laughs> Time for baby to go to bed. <laughs> oh my God. And baby Patreon! What's wrong? Are you hungry? Oh my god. Jesus. Lowered their attack and defense. Game. Lowered their attack and defense. Breaking top. Unleash a spinning throw that wrecks a single enemy and deals collateral damage to any other. Mmm. Yes! Oh god, I just forgot about this. Amazon Prime greenlit a sequel TV series based on Sausage Party. Oh god. No. I'm gonna quote Chris Wolfhart. No! <laughs> I just hope it picked up where they left off of the characters going down to hunt their voice actors. Oh, the celebrities that voiced them. That would be the funniest explanation for no one coming back, actually. Mm -hmm. they, that they killed them. Yeah, that's actually the... That's okay, said that was actually the plan. Just make it a, a animation and live action hybrid of the characters trying to kill the people who voiced them and the people who made the film. No, I would say, like, build, like, the original mm -hmm. actors is coming back, but in the ep mm -hmm. first episode, they die, and then they get replaced with, uh, sound <laughs> Rank up. Hey. Excuse me. Okay, enough. Where's Mabuchi's hideout? Talk! If you're gonna kill me, get it over with. What? You won't find a singular mind shocked enough to give up their brothers because of a little presser. <laughs> Not even if you kill us. Oh, bullshit! Yo. Cut it out! Damn. Man, not a single one talked. Talk about being faithful. They actually could learn a thing or two from them. Yeah, when people hit rock bottom, loyalty's all you got left sometimes. Hey. Yes, it's all very impressive, but how are we gonna find Mabuchi now? Hmm. 
If they don't even come out in public, and won't talk when we do catch them. Hmm. It's too bad there's nothing to scrubby Lu Mong who's not really feeling the gangster thing who betrayed him at the drop of a hat. Oh, he's got an idea. I can think of one. Really? <laughs> there is one scrubby Lumong who's not into it. Oh, I think I know who he's talking about. Hmm? Remember that guy who tried to shake us down? Oh, Zang, that's right. He's a Lumong too. Who's Zang? Paneos? Just this asshole who collected protection money from us back at the homeless camp. He's greedy as hell. A little cash would probably go a long way. So, where do you find this Shang guy? Hmm. Wish I could tell you, but... Oh shit, that was easy! Uh -oh. There he is! A shiny scalped loser. That's him, alright. Mm. And he went to a cabaret club. Because they're all in corners, you know that. Never thought I'd find him this quickly. I still got it. It's a coincidence, man. Come on, can't you let me even have one thing? Listen. Shang, huh? Ah, oh, no, he looked pretty into the job. I'm guessing, uh... Nanba and Sa Saiko are gonna have like a bit of rivalry. Don't judge a book by his cover. The bigger they're attacking, the less they're panicking. The bigger they're acting, the less they're packing. You know, just like people with very loud motors and cars. Ah. Oh, Whoa, well, you could just okay, tell that from looking at it from behind? I can tell from listening to their cars. They're, they're, just listen closely. <laughs> Small dick! More or less, but why are you getting all flustered? Yo. Uh, let's just go talk to him. That actually yeah. reminded me, uh, that there was, there was a tweet I saw on uh, Twitter about that very thing. Like, I told you about the small dick, small dick thing. It was in the best yeah, 2020. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it was like, like, people with like loud engines, my whole thing, my, I was like, they're telling you very loudly, do not look at my penis, it's tiny. Oh my god. And it reminded me of a tweet I saw on Twitter back, uh, around the time we were going to go to, uh, Ocean City with you. Um, I, there was a car show happening at uh, Ocean City, and um, some guy was loudly uh, running his motor, and then someone outside replied to him, Buddy, if my dick was that small, I'd start wearing shorts again. <laughs> God. Wow. Well, I was gonna end the episode, but uh, can't yet. Did you notice that all the enemies have red eyes now? I think that must be in his imagination. Yes. Like, he thinks they're all Dragon Quest enemies. Get them quickly. You're gonna get yeah. Cool. Does this put stun Astro next? Yeah, he snapped out of it, just like he snapped into existence. And he's launching backwards towards a pole. It's gonna crush his nuts. Yeah, life's not too good for that guy. But, um, we're gonna go confront uh, Zhang. Next summon super bonus round. Yep, that's right. So thank you guys all so much for watching. We'll send you see you guys next time. Bye bye. Bye bye.